Let me show you how I designed this torch flyer in Corridor. This is a beginner's friendly tutorial. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor, guys. So um, the first thing you want to know what we're going to do now is we're going to change our paper size. And the size we'll be making use of is um 10 by 10 inches. So to do that, come over to your property bar and select um your drawing unit then change it to inches all right so the next thing you're going to do is um uh, we're going to change this to 10 by 10 inches all right so you're going to press enter on your keyboard and the next thing you're going to do is uh you're going to double click on this rectangle tool to bring it to this canva you have here all right so um the next thing you're going to do is you can see we have a black stroke right if you zoom out you see a line we call it an outline or a black stroke right so the next thing you're going to do is um come back to this thumbnail over here and um right click on it then press letter p on your keyboard to bring it to the canva or the frame we have there now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import our stock images which we have earlier now um you're going to come over to file and uh, select imports. All right. Then what you're going to do is come over to where the file is saved. Okay. Come over to where the file is saved. Then you're going to come over to this and highlight everything. All right. And click on imports. And when you click on imports, basically click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. All right. So I think this is the last one. Now, if you come over to this, um, to this text node part, right, you see the names of the fonts which I will put for you guys the that description below, and every file I I, I attach here, I'm gonna uh, put the link for you guys to try out this. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is uh, I'm gonna bring in this rectangle. Um, sorry, the background, and I'm gonna scale it up this way, right. I want to scale this up this way so you can see we don't have much to do at this background so i'm going to right click and select power clip place it into this frame then i'm going to right click and select edit power clip then bring it to this part all right so basically this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on finish i want to bring in this background all right this um image i want to place it just right here all right and i'm going to reduce this then basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click select part click then place it into this frame and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this logo i'm going to place it just right here all right and the next thing i'm going to do is i want to come over to this um text copy this and once you copy that copy to text um to so, and um, click over here then use ctrl v to paste it then the next thing you're going to do is we're going to break this apart by putting our cursor over here then press enter then use ctrl k to break it apart then the font we'll be making use of is uh this one right like i said i'm going to put the names for you guys to check it out all right so this is the the font we're making use of so i'm going to scale this up this way all right and make sure it is centralized then i'm going to just scale this up and i'm um, use the same font for this all right so the next thing we're going to do is place this just right here so let me give it um, an uppercase so we see all right i'm going to use the uppercase washing with us all right so this is what we're going to have so i'm going to bring this one down here scale it up a bit then basically uh come back to this color thumbnail over here and um i'm going to select rgb then make it 100 percent black and click on ok now the next thing you're going to do is uh i'm going to bring in this light flay right scale it up this way then use shift page up to bring it forward all right and i'm going to select my transparency tool come over to my image mode then select screen all right so this is basically what you're going to have so basically you can decrease this opacity right 
Um, next one I'm going to do, bring this one here, scale it up this way. All right. I'm going to right click and select power clip, place it into this frame. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in this image of people worshiping. All right. I'm going to scale it up this way. I'm going to use my transparency to fade out this edge this way, fade out this edge. All right. Then I'm going to convert to my mesh mode, then change it to screen. All right. So once you change it to screen, you can basically um, take it up a bit there. Right click and select power clip, then place it into this frame. Now, the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to bring in um, this, this lights, right? Then you're going to just fade out this edge, right? Then change it to the reason why I'm fading out the edges is because um, sometimes when you um, apply your effect, you will see a line coming out here. So it doesn't make sense. So you want to basically come to bitmap, convert it to bitmap, all right? So the reason why I'm converting to bitmap is because I want to fade out this edge also. I want to convert to mesh mode and change it to screen. Then this is what you are going to have. So I'm going to bring it over here. All right, bring it over here. And um, bring it to forward. Then I'm going to highlight all this. Then highlight all this. Then right click, select power clip, place it into this frame. All right, so this is what you're going to have. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this. Copy it. Control C to copy. I'm going to paste it over here. Right. So um, let me change the font to area so we can manipulate everything. Now this is what we're going to make use of. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it to part using Control plus K. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this fonts for this. All right, so this is the font I'll be making use of for this one. I'm going to scale it up this way. It's 10 a.m. Then I'm going to use, uh, can use Capstan Book for this one. All right, I'm going to bold it. Then bring this one here. Then use your shape tool to drag this down here. Then you can basically bring this one to this part. Then scale it up this way. Then you can use um your freehand to draw a line so if you want to draw a straight line always hold your command key or your control key then draw you will get a straight line but without that if you're drawing you find it difficult to get a perfect straight line all right so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to basically give this one um red color but the the church color is actually kind of maroon color so i'm going to pick a color from here all right so when I pick the color, I'm going to place it just here. And um, this is what we're going to have. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Captain Book for this. Captain Book for this one. That is what the address. Then I'm going to place it just here. Then I'm going to scale it up this way. Then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Captain Book for this one also. All right. Then I'm going to reduce this one. This is church website and um and what this is church website and email all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this um website logo or icon go to bitmap select mode select black and white then you can play with this threshold over here then click on ok then cover to trace bitmap outline trace line art then wait for it to load then click on ok and um, the next thing you're going to do basically is Delete this one, scale it up this way, and um, let's bring this guy over here, right? Let's reduce this guy, bring in over here. Then the next one I'm going to bring now is um, this email icon, then bring the address icon, right? So we're going to do the same thing to this mode, black and white. Click on OK and um, trace big map, outline, trace line, add, and wait for it to load. Now, basically, what you're going to do now is uh, basically click on OK after that because we have our before and we're going to have our after as a traced um, icon, all right? So, basically, the reason why we're doing that is because so that we can be able to change the fonts. Do you understand? 
so you can be able to change the font uh sorry the color instead now i'm going to bring in my ruler to make sure um this is properly the same all right you can see it's not the same so we're going to scale this one this way so once we scale it up uh we can basically bring this guy do the same all right then click on trace bitmap outline trace line ads and um, the next thing you're going to do is wait for, first of all, wait for the before this, the before this, the after, and click on OK. Now what you're going to do is delete this one and, um, you know, this is what an, an icon, um, an icon and a, a location icon. But definitely I love deleting this. I don't know why, but I don't like keeping that. And I'm going to delete this, delete this, and uh, this is what we are going to have. So basically... Um, I'm thinking of bringing this one this way to start my alignment here, but does it work? Does it work? Does it work? I think, nope. So we we'll just leave that. So as you can see, this and this is not aligning. So align it together. Is it this? Align it together properly. All right. So now this is what you are going to have. So for this one, give it 100% black. 100% black. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I want to, let me just type worship. What was this? All right. So I'm going to type, um, worship with us. Then I'm going to use this font, autograph, autobiography, I think. Don't worry. I've written everything for you guys over here. So then I'm going to just, um, scale this one up. So let me do this worship with us. Then all I'm going to do is <clears throat> give it the black color, then come over to this and change this to let's see um color dodge. Am I right? Or let's see. Okay. Overlay. Let's give it the white color. Then we can just leave that to that. You know. Leave it there. And um basically, this is how. I desired this church flyer in corridor. If you have no question, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.